of course, to in February 2014 tell everything yeah. that needs to be known about an economy until the end of 2018 is uh, not possible. Yeah. Um, but we have been uh, clear on what we see for 2015 and 2016. Okay. And we see with the uh, increase in our growth um, forecasts mm. that we now need to relax the f financial stimulus that we have been doing. Right. So if we do anything on the reform side, we need to finance it 100%. Right. And therefore I've said that we will not have any suggestions on tax reliefs that are not fully financed. And uh, I'm not uh, even pointing out further tax reductions at this moment. Uh, because we think that f first and before anything else we need to do uh, a few investments in our educational system. We got an OECD PISA report just before Christmas pointing out that we have um, uh, well, uh, bad results um, uh, actually going downwards and of course we, we take this very seriously and we want to um, increase um, the time in schools for mathematics. Uh, we want to increase um, the support given for uh, young pupils. We want to uh, expand the compulsory school system from nine up to ten years. And everything uh, of these steps need a funding. So as we see it now, we don't foresee any tax cuts even for the whole mandate period because we think we need to bring the Swedish economy back to balance and a surplus. I think the main conflict when it comes to taxes in the um, election campaign will be to stand against the ideas and suggestions from the centre-left to raise a lot of taxes, especially on, on jobs, on, on employing uh, young people, on um, doubling the VAT for, for uh, part of the service sector, for instance.